Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. So there should be a castle nearby. Can bring up. 
Abandoned long ago, no doubt. I have no idea where this castle is. connected to another island and uh, the island is surrounding this connecting island yeah this is that like this is connected here here somewhere yes let's mark this place
I could use a fire whiskey right now. This looks like trouble. All this like this.
So my game crashed after I defeated those assholes on that side. Revelio! Pulling up a Hogsfield shudders when they see me coming. <laughs> about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in.
Perhaps the map contains clues about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in. Maybe. Perhaps the map contains clues about the order I'm supposed to ring the bell. Perhaps the map contains clues about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in. So let me see the map again, let me get to some idea. Okay, so there are uh, two rows of ring bells here. Uh, let us consider the left, uh, left hand side uh, A and right hand side B. So as you can see here, the first chord, still don't understand this. So this is a trial and error method. Oh, I do not have that time. So I got the answer for you guys. Just do what I am doing exactly. So we start with B4. Then go for A3. Then A2. Then B2. Then A3 again. Then A1. B1. And B2. That did it. What? I wasn't with like that. And look, the treasure. Does someone know what this is? This is trial and error. You know, the music is so good. I have to do it. I have to do it. क्योंकि मैं वॉक थ्रू कर रहा हूँ मेरे पास अगर मैं इसी को लेके बैठा रहा तो हो गया काम खत्म ओके सो व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू नेक्स्ट सो दिस इज व्हाट नाम क्यों नहीं दिखा रहा क्लैगमोर कोस्ट this is Klagmar Castle, if you see it correctly. So let's go talk to the sky is the limit. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here! Hey, my name is not Ravenclaw. Hello again, Amelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. That was 
natuurlijk niet gekapt. Excellent. something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, Hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. You take care of yourself. Okay. So we did that side mi mission. All the quests. Let's swing Rokoko. <gasps> oh. Okay. Let's 
टाइट करने में तो हो गया था My poor Rococo. Miss Coffey, I found your Nephla. Oh goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? I'm sure he'll be happy to go home. He will. Oh, my brave little explorer, my greedy, greedy boy! Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Hello, Homora. today can never have enough stock that's what I say thank you for stopping by subscribers and we are still playing on controller and giving the excuse of soul games can only be played with a controller that's a hell of a excuse for being incompetent I would say yeah I'm grinding my ass man I'm grinding my ass in a mouse and keyboard and when someone says soul games are not for mouse and keyboard, you have to have a controller to play it. And then it really gets in my head, man. And what is he talking about? I played my entire life with mouse and keyboard, and this guy who has like 2 lakh subscribers more than me, 2 lakh more subscribers than me. Is talking shit. Does it's it get any more cozy than Orgspeed? Bit blurry, you would say, in terms of audio. But I did not give up. As 
Where's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Just like that. Is this not a beast? Okay, only magical beasts can be rescued. That is absurd, man. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. She is hiding something. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Eric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Doran. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, 
it will be all three of your heads. So this guy who saved us is the oldest of them all. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Sigurds are still alive and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? He could have been a bit clearer or stayed a moment and answered our questions. Centaurs can be cryptic. Graham says no one talks more in circles than a centaur. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd calls him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. There's an astronomy table here. I think it's up there. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Travel broadens the mind. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. 
And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Sen azdik jo hai pehle usi se baat I wonder if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rape. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rape. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Oh, I breathe and exhale danger every day. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. One guy is here. Also, Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check that. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to <coughs> Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? 
That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic. What happened to Bickle? He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprised Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Shit, I'm dead. Uh, I am back. I jumped right. Uh, that was a big jump there, but no fall damage. to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Not easy problem if I see a hundred percent. Must be around here somewhere. That he's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio. That he must have been taken this way. I need to find her quick.
footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Later, to me,
Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He oh. wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Now I found both of this. Let's stop with this corrupt. Mr. Rape! Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. 
I need you to find my wand. It's the rape. I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I have your wand. So. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once a- Oh, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to stop the video. Shallow. I'm going to stop the video with this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. And do not forget to subscribe. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. I think Ruth Singer is... Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. She is involved, Ruth Singer. She is definitely involved with the Ashwinders and the whole Rockwood thing with Randrock and I don't know, with Harlow maybe. But we'll be back with more exciting videos until then. Stay tuned and have a good day guys. Bye for now. See you soon. Take care.